body space is a very intimate space and it's a very private space and at least everybody should get you know the chance to feel safe in that space i am upomelel in Komosaike and i'm doing currently doing my second year at Rhodes university and my trans journey here at Rhodes university it has been it has been it has been a journey it has been it has been it has it's it's very much evolving it's um it's such an evolution whereby i've come i think the space has allowed me to understand myself and to understand my identity and um each and every day i think i come to understand being trans and 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 being me and understanding my transness as a black as a trans woman in 2013, the Director of Student Affairs at Rhodes University at the time, Vivian Ditlek, announced that four unisex restrooms will be built on campus in the future. Four years later, gender-neutral restrooms are inaccessible and almost invisible on campus. Okay, so the gender-neutral bathrooms that um, do exist, right, it's not as if Rhodes University constructed it and intended for it to be a gender-neutral bathroom. It just so happened that most of them, I'm not sure if all of them are like this, but I do know that most of them are in departments where there like, was only one bathroom. So obviously Rhodes couldn't be like, okay, it's just for females, just for males. They were like, ooh, here we go. That can be gender-neutral because... You know, we have nothing else to do with it. It would have to be gender neutral anyway, because there's only one and we're not about to build another one. And do you know where they are? I think the first thing that needs to be done definitely it's the it's it's bring about implementation in spaces you know where whereby students are bound to go to in terms of 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 of, of, of the bathrooms. That's the first thing that's very important. In the library, every student is bound to go to the library. A union labs jack labs all these labs the students are bound to be in a lab so that it's very important that gender neutral bathrooms are there so we're standing outside a so-called gender neutral bathroom in the drama department but we've noticed that the sign says men's toilet so let's go inside and check out the facility so we're inside the so-called gender neutral bathroom and we've seen that the facilities are divided into two. There is a men's urinal and there are also facilities that are suited for females. We spoke to a gender non-conforming student, Rafe Green, and asked for their thoughts on the lack of gender neutral bathrooms on campus. First of all, there's not enough of them. Um, as far as I know, there's only... There's either two or four facilities. Um, one is in the drama department here, right on top. But the thing about it is that it's not necessarily called a like a gender neutral bathroom. It's just simply a bathroom that has both facilities that hasn't been named. Does other people because we are creating a space whereby um, these bodies that don't fit in these. Um, 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 structures or these bathrooms that have always been there. So you're creating another space whereby people who do not fit this binary have a space. That is good, right? That's that's transformation. However, it will not be effective if we, if 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 if, if as a trans woman, I have to use a gender neutral bathroom and I cannot use a, a woman's bathroom because I identify as a woman. I am a woman in this man's body. That's a problem, right? Because. Now I'm not seen as a woman. Sometimes I question myself, is, is the chance before the woman making me less of a woman?